everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And don't mind the baby face, we're shaved, we're clean shaven. We had a charity stream recently at twitch.tv slash Zeddy. If you haven't checked out the stream, we uh, we had a great one the other day. We raised over $1,200 for care, uh, a charity raising money for COVID. So we ended up doing a broom, ha or broom handle, is it broom handle, handlebar mustache? And uh, yeah, as you can see by the results, it was quite spooky, quite crazy, but really fun stream. And that uh, was a good time. But regardless of that, what did we do yesterday on the the, uh, the stream yesterday? Well, we played some Bomb Warrior. I wanted to try out this deck. I had seen uh, Ego Waffle and Glee HS have some success with it. And they were telling me that it's the Demon Hunter counter. And he can compete with Rogue. As basically since the nerfs have happened. As you can see here, 70% of my opponents have been either Rogue or Demon Hunter. So we played the deck a bunch. Um, probably like... 40-ish games and we basically went 50-50 at best in the matchups. I think the deck is not that straightforward to play. I probably need to learn to get better with it because when I started it was like 4-10 and 10, and then we ended up getting near 50-50 so maybe it is the answer but I'm not entirely sold. Demon Hunter just feels too powerful. Rogue feels too RNG crazy but regardless we'll keep at it. I've highlighted a couple of games to kind of demonstrate the deck wants to do. You basically want to remove Remove minions, gain armor with your skipper, armor smith, put bombs in your opponent's deck, have them draw, the, have them die to that, and you got the prime in there, you got deathwing, you got some board control with brawl, you got some control elements going on here, so I did find the deck fun to play, I'm just not really enjoying the meta per se, but hopefully you can give it a try, is it worth crafting? I wouldn't go crazy crafting this yet, but if you have the cards... Give the deck a go. It's pretty fun, and it really craps on the Highlander deck. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. We're getting really close to 2,500 subs, so thank you for that. And yeah, have a great day, and stay salty, my friends. Hopefully this grows back, right? Yeah. Bye. Love it. Dude, fucking love it, dude. All right, I'll just keep the curve, I guess. I don't know. Yep. I, need, I mean, I have the better durability. I'll just play it first. He almost lost. No, he he got very lucky to win. I know. I'm, I'm aware of how that game went. But I'm used to it. He also drew the prime with Skipper, with Armorsmith, with the one copier in the top, like, ten cards, too. He literally should never have even had a chance to lose the game, but he tried to throw. Like, he tried really hard. Listen. Thanks for the spell mage YouTube guide, Zeddy. Even when you lose, you know those freezes are triggering your opponent. Pretty much. Pretty much. Glad you're enjoying the guide. Um, the, de and the deck's really fun to play. Unfortunately, Demon Hunter just ruins all the fun. I can't let him copy this, so I have to kill it. But, yeah, I probably lose from here. It goes dormant, which is nice. I don't know if it retains the buff. I have no idea. At least that's a good lackey. It'll kill this, but whatever. Face. Does it retain the buff from the, um... I imagine it should. It, but, I mean, he already used the Terran Gore Fiend, like, really early, which is, feels like that's the card that can beat me. So, I feel like we're already favored from this position. Dude, I hate this baby face look. I hate it so much. I want my I want my facial hair back. I want it back. I'm not worried about shuffling bombs, am I? 
I'll just hold the charge. Thank you for the 100 bits, though, Star Fox. And, um, yeah. I've been, uh, Spell Mage, I just, like, you just die to Demon Hunter, and that's the meta. Like, you have to, you play either to beat Demon Hunter or play Demon Hunter. There's no other way, because you, it's still broken after seven nerfs. Because they haven't addressed the issue with the deck is that it's fundamentally broken. It's fundamentally broken on every level. Yeah. Somehow they always have this. But, so he draws five for two mana. Yep. I don't know how, but everyone has this hand. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Let's just get a bunch of armor, I guess. I don't get the draw, because I don't... I didn't draw Battle Rage, but... We get a bunch of armor. We have Shield Block. This should be relatively annoying for him to deal with. Hey, Dever. Yeah, the nerfs basically just hit Warlock. That's about it. It slowed Demon Hunter down just enough that Rogue can kind of compete through their degenerate crap. But outside of that, we're basically in the same spot. Which is pretty lame. I can just save that and armor up. I don't think having a 1-1 one -one on board really matters. And you never know if I need the luck in the brawl, maybe. Alright. But yeah, the sack pack was like the only way that Warlock could kind of compete with the horse shit that's Demon Hunter. And they nerfed that. And like, they only nerfed really one card in Demon Hunter. Adept literally didn't get nerfed. A 7-4 from a 6-4 literally makes no difference. Like, it doesn't. It, it's the effect of the card that's broken, not the one less, one more attack. Um, Altruist is slowed down marginally, but the zero mana cards is what breaks it. You never played it on three. You play it with you play it with twin slice and all the cheated out cards of skull. So it's basically rendered the same. So very little has changed because they didn't really address the fundamental issues with Demon Hunter, which is it's over the top. It's over the top amount of burn. It's over the top. Uh, card draw. There's just like a ton of issues with it. Uh, Blade Storm or Value? Blade Storm's an AoE. Could get a random dragon. It's the random dragon or lackey that would be relevant. Sweeping strikes? No. I think we'd take Blade Storm. Activate his battle rage. I don't know, just like I'm I'm obviously pretty low on cards here and Yeah. I feel like I need all the removal I can get, 
We have a lot of armor, so we have a lot of time, or a good amount of time. We have the Brawl, Bladestorm. I got Skipper, Battle Rage if I draw a minion. We just play the control game here. The bombs aren't likely to kill him, but... It's all good. Oh. Infinite value. Seems good. Do you ride your bike without a seat? No, I'm good. I ride a bike. Actually, I don't even have a bike. I got mine stolen. I haven't replaced it. They already confirmed the solo adventure is not bringing new cards. I don't remember where I read it, but I know I've read it. Well, I'm pretty glad I took Bladestorm. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty good here. I will not be denied. I'm gonna save the uh, Pillager for the Skipper. Am I serious? Yeah, they already said no it's gonna be free, so of course there's no new cards. You think they're going to give cards away for free? Come on, man. It's just going to be like Dungeon Run again. Why am I the only streamer who tells the truth? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. But we do. He's drawn one bomb, so there's five in his deck, right? So if I draw four, we're even on fatigue. Now I'll just pass for now. I don't know. Do you, every other streamer gets bundles to give away and they get promotions to work with Blizzard. So I'm gonna explain a few things. Or maybe we're just we're just delusional and everything's great and we're just negative Nancys. I don't know. But I feel like we're not. The decline in the game has shown that. Froden tweets about the game going up. The one month it's gone up because of a fucking pandemic. But um, yeah, the game's not been on the rise since like 2017. I mean, we don't care about the armor. It's not really relevant. Okay, I can do this. Sure. I mean, he's way behind on fatigue now. And we have Kargath, we have Boom, we have all the bombs we're putting in his deck. We're at 51 health. Feels like we're fine here. Yeah, people seem to think that, like, all I do is complain and blah, 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 blah. It's like, the game has been progressively worse year after year. So yeah, I'm going to complain a lot because it's been getting worse. It's not getting better. They've added some new stuff, which I praised. All the new stuff they've added, I have praised. People ignore that, but whatever. But in terms of design and game balance, the game has gotten worse and worse. And that's what I'm critical of. 
I'm not critical of them adding BGs. That's great. I'm not critical of them improving the shop. That's great. I'm not critical of more content. That's great. I'm not critical of better communication. That's great. But I'm critical of poor design and balance. Because these are relevant and honest factors. But people only harp on the negative of my negative. Ironically. Never doomsayer. I look like a middle schooler. I I hate I hate the no facial hair too. Feels bad, man. Feels pretty bad. Do I ever swing here? It's my last bomb charge. I think I hold it because he might draw a bunch of bombs. There's a most of his deck is bombs at this point. I love this card. I wish more of the warrior card, like all. I wish more of the cards in the set were like warrior. Like imagine if demon hunter cards were like the warrior ones. They were actually fair. The class might be fair, but no. Ever if this was a warrior card, it'd be a ten ten or demon hunter card, it'd be a ten ten, for like four mana. Oh shit, war mall. On Warmall action. Ugh. 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 <laughs> Alright. Well, he's gonna be drawing the bomb soon, so let's get this out there. another bomb there's another bomb there's another bomb how many bombs does he even have left it's like one or two oh considering he's only got two cards left it's one or two i don't remember does the deck tracker doesn't tell you how many bombs they have left i don't know he's gonna kill us at 50 50 uh 55 health here he's got us He almost got through the armor. Come back. Alright. We won a game against another warrior. Let's go. Like, I don't know the mulligan against Demon Hunter. I should look at, like, at least a comparable deck. See if I can find something. There's a bomb warrior list. Is this it or is this some other jank? Some other jank. But let's look at Demon Hunter numbers. Even at the jank, is Armorsmith a good keep? Not particularly. I think we'll try it, though. And we have to keep cash. I took one back on EU with it and farmed a part where it, like, it should not happen. Yeah. Oh, wow. Good hand. Um, The thing is, like, to beat aggro with quest mage was never was never about racing to the quest completion. It was never about that. It was always a tempo game. And that hasn't changed. It was always about getting your cyclone, your girl, your wakers, cheating out giants. It had nothing to do about racing to get quest completion. Which, I, that's what I said when I, I meant, like, that's never been the issue with the deck. It's always been Apprentice and the Giants. So, I don't know. We'll just play this. Might eat three damage. Yeah, the quest is good tempo, but you didn't need it to win. Like, very odd times did it come down to, oh, I played Giant and that, but... It's probably the most prevalent, like you're saying, in Even Shaman, where you take that extra turn to take the bird back and then win, but, like, it just doesn't feel like that big a deal. That matchup might be worse. I've played Even Shaman twice so far. I beat it both times, but 
that's, you know, a horrible sample size, so I can't really... Can't really go off of that, but yeah. There's definitely ways to counter the deck. Like, you play any Flood deck that has a lot of health, it beats Quest Mage, on average. Like Murlocs. You play Murloc Shaman, Murloc Paladin. Stuff like that. You're going to be favored to win. But there's very limited to style of decks. Let's go face... So I'm probably doing this next turn. Uh, I go face. There's no point in killing these. I'm probably gonna kill them next turn, anyways. Like I, I, I just lose four damage. Corb was farming with the even hunter. Yeah, I beat him once and lost him twice when he was playing that. But it felt like it was built specifically be to beat quest mage, which I mean makes sense. But I did beat him once, where I just high rolled, because it still does that shit. Okay, so this card nerf is irrelevant, because it's always just dumb. I don't have the Battle Rage, but I don't think I can wait here. Gain some armor, I clear the board. But I don't get the card draw, which is a big deal. Hey Drake, and by the way, hey Corey, make sure, hey Corey, whenever you're, uh, whenever you figure out when you want to do the thing, let me know. Like I'm gaining this armor, and it just feels inconsequential. I feel like it's more important to hit the button here than draw the weapon. I feel like I'm still losing, but let's see what happens. If he draws three bombs, he's dead, but yeah. Oh, I saw your tournament announcement. I forgot to retweet it. I'm sorry. I want to give you that. At least, at least get that out there. I saw that. Without a prize pool, it might be a little bit hard to get going, but I appreciate you making an effort. Yeah, that sucks. I have. I, I think I have to kill that. Hey, let's draw two more and we win. Unlucky. Oh, we're dead. There we go, I'll retweet it and like it. <sighs> At least they nerfed this card. Why this goes face, I'll never know. Can I beat Demon Hunter with his deck one time? Like, for fuck's sake. Look at the damage the output is on this thing. I, I want to armor. Perfect. Yeah, I think I might still end up losing this game. If he draws Skull, we're, we're kind of fucked. Cargath and Copy? I need to clear the board, man. I can always do that next turn and armor up. I want to hit the button every turn. 
Hitting the button is very important. And I'm squeaking in every hero power right now. I feel like that's a mistake. Okay, got two Kargoths we can draw that can gain us 10 armor, but it's still not GG yet. It's not Skull into meta, into the weapon, but he is down to 9 health, so never mind. They have healing, too, in the aggro deck. Alright, we'll just start hitting him in the face. It's too bad uh, the Prime isn't a pirate. Imagine the Prime was a pirate. That'd be, uh, slightly broken. Let's play Deathwing, right? And then we, he dies. Play an 8 mana 12-12. Seems good to me. I like that. Because he cannot do 15 with any draw. Not even Skull. Would an 8 mana 12 12 C play? Yeah. Seems that way. Alright, we got him. Beat a Demon Hunter. It's so good. We're, we're, get, we're getting closer back to po positive. Like I said, I wasn't going to give up on this deck right away. Because I've seen people do well with it. <laughs>